Today we're going to talk about updates coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and also update that was dropped last night for Tears of the Kingdom and what it means for the game moving forward. Now before we dive into that, I want to remind you we are on a road to 133,000 subscribers and yeah, we're doing a giveaway right? We have a giveaway going on right now. You can go ahead and enter it on in the pinned comment or in the description for a Hylian Shield replica. Uh, two Nintendo Switch Zelda OLED editions. We're also giving away two Zelda Collector's editions. This is actually a kickoff giveaway event for Prime Gaming Fest, which we will hopefully have details on for you soon before the month is out since it actually begins on June 8th. Now, that being said... I'm also just trying to reach for the stars here, guys. I'm turning 37 this year, and uh, it's always been my dream to be able to support my family uh, just doing YouTube and, and being a full-time YouTuber. So everyone who subscribes, thank you so much because you are helping me achieve that dream and hopefully inspiring my children to chase their dreams no matter how old they get. All right, let's dive right into the news now and deal with this. We have to dive into this. The Tears of the Kingdom update right last night they dropped a patch 1.1.2 and if you had automatic updates on you might have been surprised by a certain something that is if you've been taking advantage of certain aspects of the game that were unintended let's just dive initially into the patch notes themselves so first they fixed an audio bug so they fixed an issue where sound would play at an extremely high volume in certain conditions now i didn't seem to have this problem but when i'm playing it in handle i usually have the volume maxed out anyways but i guess if you're someone who had the volume turned down and then all of a sudden it just cranked up suddenly in some areas that would be a problem so i understand fixing the audio issue now they did some additional fixes as well one of them is actually a pretty important one they fixed an issue in the main quest camera works in the depths where players could not progress beyond a certain point downloading the update will allow players to proceed past that point and i actually believe that my fiance is dealing with this bug because we were trying to figure out why she couldn't progress for something else and it's because she couldn't progress in the quest she had and this was the quest she had where it she felt like she did it, but it wouldn't turn in, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't have any problems. I actually got past this quest, but she didn't. So it's not a bug that is triggered all the time, but it is a bug that is in the game. So I'm really glad they patched that out. Now, the last part of the patch notes here says several issues have been addressed to improve the gameplay experience. Now, this is the one that is quite fascinating because while it appears there are no performance increases or anything to help with frame rates or resolution, what they did address were a ton of glitches. Now, addressing glitches is usually viewed as a good thing, but in this case, calling it improving the gameplay experience, given what the glitches are that they fixed, seems a little weird because the people that were using these glitches did so intentionally, so they could argue this makes their gameplay experience worse, but what are you gonna do? But what are you gonna do? Nintendo wants to get the game into a state that is exactly what they intended. So we're talking about every single duplication glitch in existence. They patched out all of them. None of them work. This is actually just a quick edit I wanted to throw in here because it does turn out there is one duplication glitch that still works. I'm not gonna explain what it is though because it does involve spoiling a feature in the game, but I will link to a guide for it down in the description if you wanna know how to do it. And just to warn you guys, you can, it's only duplicating a single item at a time and it's a pretty big pain in the butt and it involves hard saving and resetting. It's not great. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But I guess it can work in a pinch. Whether it's any of the simple ones that use the YB trick, you know, the paraglider one was the most popular way to do it because it was the easiest to pull off. But there were other methods to using the YB trick as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter because Nintendo just got rid of it. They also patched out the meat trick. They patched out the arrow trick. They patched out all of these stuff with some pretty simple fixes that made it no longer possible. So hitting the double, the double plus on the pause menu, it, it just doesn't work anymore guys nintendo has patched it all out now obviously these duplication glitches were never intended and nintendo has a history of patching out duplication glitches when you upgrade your armor and all of that to the max levels it is intended to be a grind it is intended to be feel like something that you've earned rather than getting what of an item and all of a sudden you know you you just duplication glitch your way to maxing out your armor for some people this makes the game more enjoyable for others it just ruins the game for them it's kind of funny because obviously this 
does make the game simpler and for some people more fun. I know Yulia in particular, she has been spamming. My fiance has been spamming that duplication glitch for a few days now. She absolutely loves it, but also hates that she can't progress into certain quests. So it's sort of like a strong armed into having to update so she can progress her quest, but also like hey maybe i want to duplicate everything i can in fact when i told her this update dropped last night the first thing she did is go into her game and start duplicating everything that she wanted to knowing that her game was going to update because she wants the update so yeah look guys i don't really know what to think about this other than we knew nintendo was going to patch it out i've been warning yulia since she since i showed her one of the duplication glitches a few days ago that nintendo would eventually patch this out and probably do so quickly and so they have i'm not really that disappointed by it because what are we we're talking about getting disappointed that nintendo is making their game function as intended you could argue the duplication glitch doesn't hurt anyone but also you don't have to update this is the key thing if you're not having the main quest issue this isn't a multiplayer game. There's not really a mandatory reason to update. You can go into your system settings, turn off automatic updates. Now, I know some people stated they did this and the game updated anyways. Nintendo might really be trying to force this update through. And once you're updated, you can't back roll. So I do think that one thing you can look into doing is making sure that every time you turn your Switch on, make sure Tears of the Kingdom doesn't have a loading bar on it. If it does, that means it's downloading the update. You can go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit X and cancel that update. But it's not a mandatory update, even though Nintendo seems to be even forcing it with automatic updates off. But what are you going to do? I mean, Nintendo's just trying to get the game to the state they intended. They obviously didn't know about these duplication glitches, you know, during QA testing. So it is what it is. I'm not disappointed by it. Some people might be happy by it because it now puts the game back into the state that it was intended to be in. The whole ruining the game's economy statement I've seen from some. I always thought it was kind of funny since they're only ruining their own experiences economy, not yours you never had to use the glitch right but never mind let's just get into the next story because we got something with pokemon and this is one that we, we've been wanting good news for pokemon scarlet and violet for a while and the big news we want is a patch right we want the game patched to fix performance issues we have seen that overclocking the switch fixes some of the frame rate problems not necessarily all of the glitches and the falling through the world and i know a lot of you stated that hey i've got 300 plus hours in this game I haven't experienced any of the glitches obviously you experienced the you know frame rate dips because that's just a factual thing that happens to everybody but if you're not bothered by that then you didn't experience the glitches you actually might feel like the game is just fine but there obviously is a large number of people that have experienced all these problems so that's what we want but that's not what we got instead they fixed another issue and that is pokemon home so they delayed the release of pokemon home they announced it like a week or two ago and they didn't really delay it that long because it is arriving next week after all so version 3.0.0 of pokemon home is going to launch during the pokemon home maintenance that is scheduled on may 30th so it's just next week so what that means is that yeah they're adding the supporting for scarlet and violet so you finally be able to put your you put your pokemon in the home trade them between games etc etc so there you go that is good news for pokemon scarlet and violet also on a side note we have some good news for pokemon in general so the pokemon company this morning announced that they have sold 480 million individual pieces of pokemon game software now they're not counting mobile they're just looking at any of the spin-offs or the mainline games that are released on consoles and 480 million is incredible it's actually a 40 million game increase over this number they provided at the same time last year so it kind of shows you just not only the half those sales or more are pokemon scarlet and violet but just the amazing momentum the pokemon franchise has regardless of the performance things uh of course yeah look guys pokemon's a behemoth right it's massive it's one of the biggest ips in the world they noted a whole bunch of other things about how many countries the games are available in the trading card games available in uh they're, they've actually showed there's more the most countries they have for anything is their animated show it's like in 192 193 countries i don't know a lot of really cool stats they put out there especially if you're a numbers person all you need to know is the pokemon company makes a lot of money pokemon makes a lot of money 
that's really what I took away from all of this. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about these stories down in the comments below. I have a lot of other stuff and commitments I got to get to here regarding the channel. We got some sponsorship deals and some Prime Gaming Fest stuff specifically that I need to get done today because, man, we're, it's it's approaching, guys. For those who just want a tease of what Prime Gaming Fest is because maybe you've never attended before. This is be our third year running. It is a giveaway event where we do have a ton of giveaways with hundreds of winners, but that's sort of just one side of the story there's also gaming competitions we're going to have a mario kart 8 deluxe tournament as an example where the top 10 in that tournament will all get a prize we're also going to end up having other things happening as well eric versus nate competitions where we spin a wheel of death and have to complete some sort of task on that wheel uh, we also have other things like reacting to actual gaming events whether it's summer game fest or the xbox showcase or the pc gaming show or the devolver digital direct or the ubisoft forward etc etc we would love there to be an Nintendo Direct in there, but we we know that's not happening, at least not during our show. So look, guys, we're going to be doing our best to bring gamers together, give back to the community, celebrate gaming together, react to all the new announcements, and just have a lot of fun. It's just a fun event. It's a one-of-a-kind event that happens only right here on Nintendo Prime. More details to come on this in within the next week as we roll out the schedule, roll out all of, uh, you know, so, tease some of the potential giveaways, and all of that so you guys can get excited i can tell you right now lots of games we're giving away a lot of games from indie all the way to AAA for switch playstation ps5 pc etc anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video